The Great Search brought to you by DigiKey and Infrared. Every single week, Lady Ada uses Empowered Avenger Engineering to help you. Yes, you find the things on digikey.com. Thanks, DigiKey. Lady Ada, what were you searching for this week? This week and last okay. week. Okay, so let's go to the overhead because stuff is all green. Um, it doesn't show up on the screen. So um, last week, we found uh, this Dantona. I removed the plastic, but the Dantona battery pack, uh, 2,700 milliamp hour battery, which is great because it gives us another like, you know, 20% of battery life for this play out. We repacked the batteries and just, we just showed that. And as I repacked, it's actually kind of nice. It's working great. And these come charged, but I do, you know, the battery doesn't last a ton because it's got like eight motors and they're, they're pretty hefty. So I want to charge this up with um, the charger it comes with, and this fits in pretty easily. And it snaps in, and to release it, you press this. There's a little, like, nub here. Um, problem is, is that this is not, this is before USB became, like, you know, the USB-C became very popular. So they have a DC um, power requirement, and it's not a standard, like, I have a 12-volt. I can't show it. Here, I've got this 12-volt thing, but it doesn't fit. I if I can... Plug it. Sorry. Sorry. Um, so this uh, this is your standard five point uh, five millimeter outer di diameter, two point one millimeter inner diameter. Does not fit at all, um, and uh, pretty high current requirements. Twelve volts about an amp um so next thing i have to do is i have to um find a matching power supply for this uh, so i can charge it good news is we've got a pair of calipers and a digikey catalog and i think we will be able to do it so here it is calipers so first off we're going to measure as best we can um the inner diameter sorry the outer diameter by measuring inside here Turn it on. Battery's dead, but it's okay. All right, so. Make it focus. Okay, so like 3.95, right? So basically four millimeters um, is the uh, outer diameter. And then it's going to be tough, but I don't know if we can measure the inner diameter. We can't quite get our. Uh, jaws in there but like it looks like about just eyeballing it it looks like about a millimeter well, this is very very challenging okay looks like about there you go about one millimeter maybe a little bit a little bit less um good news is you know people don't invent new um sizes of dc power jacks like there's a couple standards like the 5.5 slash 2.1 millimeter 5.5 2.5 so let's go to digikey and we're going to find an ac adapter that we can use that will fit and we'll now that we know the measurements the voltage the current we're good to go so let's look for ac adapter because we're going to you know, obviously have something that plugs into the wall ac desktop wall power adapters that's what we want DC out. Um, so now, as usual, we're going to only get active. Uh, so let's start with that. And that gets us down to about 9,000 items. Next up, we know that we need a 12 volt output. So we'll type in 12 here. There's ones that do variable. I'm going to just go with the fixed instead of, you know, I don't need to spend more for variable or multi output um so let's do 12 volt output and that gets us down to about 1700 options next up uh the output connector right so it's a barrel plug so there's a lot of plugs there's ac and phono and din but we want barrel plug and remember that we measured the output was um so outer diameter was about four millimeters inner diameter like about one millimeter so let's see what we've got. This is outer, yeah, unfortunately we can't filter by outer diameter, so we're just gonna have to look here on this gigantic list because there's so many combos. Uh, outer diameter, 
wait, there's multiple outer giant. Oh, I see. Sorry. I thought the outer diameter was 10 millimeters. Like, that's huge. That's the length. Um, so actually, let's say I start from the case. These are 5.5, 5.5. 2.35, 2.5, 4 millimeters. This is 1.7 millimeter inner diameter. I don't think it's 1.7, but I'll click it just in case. I know that the outer diameter is, is, is 4 millimeters. Uh, I don't think it's going to be 3.8, but I'll, I'll click that too. 4 millimeters. Let's keep going. I think that's it. Maybe it was like 1.8. Yeah, maybe just like 1.3, 4, 4, I think they got them wrong. Okay. No, I think I, maybe I'm confused. Hold on. Let me reset. I don't know what I searched for over here. That's odd. I remember there being more. No, I'm doing I'm doing something wrong. One second. Sorry about that. Let me do uh let me do output current, because that I know for sure. I need eight hundred and fifty. To two amps. I don't need this is huge. Okay. And then I know that it's I want something in stock. And then I want either North America or international. Because I don't I live in Australia. If you live in Australia, click Australia or International. And then I definitely want positive center or either. I don't want negative center. Okay, and then let me look at what's what's available here. So these are chunky, chunky. Okay. Yeah, these are all 5.5. And this is like the international comes with a couple different options. So let's look at the output plug again. Oh, so there's barrel plug kit, which doesn't, I can't see, but let's, let's also maybe do 3.5 miller. I could be mistaken about that. It could be that there's, you know, there's a, there's a, um, now that I think of it, four millimeters would actually be a tight fit. So I think it might be 3.5 millimeter. And yeah, because there's no four, I think four is actually some other, my measurement was off a little bit. So let's do this. I don't want screw terminal leads. Okay, so now this is up a counter they don't say I think if they don't say it's going to be 2.1 yeah so let's get rid of that dash for the output connector let's just do 3.5 millimeter okay ooh I like this. I like this one because it comes with a couple different options. This one also looks right. Let's see pricing. This one is the least expensive, but I kind of like this one because it comes with a couple different plugs. Um, this one is, this is the same thing pretty much. Oh, this is 3.3 volts. This one is 1.5 amps, 12 volts, multi-blade if you want. So I'm going to go with this one because I think that this is like the most, if you're going to get a power supply, 
I like one that you can use for a couple different things. So let's see, can load up the rendering. So this one has a little slot which you can connect any like standard two prong tip, and you get the little connector which I guess is three point five. Actually, we have. Um, let me see. We have this outlet. I have that one drain. Maybe I made this measured. Okay, so let's go to the overhead. Oh, yeah, it's, you know what? The um, hole was four millimeters, but the actual plug is 3.5. So a good warning that you want to measure not just the... Uh... Oh. oh, yeah, you know what? If I measure the plastic, which I didn't do... The plastic is 3.8, so four millimeters wouldn't fit. So actually, these are the type of tips you don't get on the competitors' um, show. Desk, my, of, my, desk of Bob. My error is your learning. Desk of Bob. Yeah. Losses over these things. Lots of hand waving from Bob. I was wondering, like, oh, it's in four, but there's no such thing. As, like, that there's such thing four millimeter, but the fact that it was very rare, because um, usually it's like whatever you find is there's only a couple very common connectors. Um, so yeah, this is three point. This is. Even though this is there is no uh, desk of bug. Desk of bug. Yeah. Three point five. By the way. Okay, so I like this one. So this is my pick. This one, the WRQ. Okay. Because it's about the same price as a single outlet. Oh, keep the computer. This is the same price as a single outlet, but um, you can select the polarity and you can also reuse it as a two point one millimeter. However, if you do want um, like a dedicated adapter. This one's in stock, and this one will 12, 12 volt, one amp, wet connector, uh, nice efficiency. This one's also very good. So both are great options for your for your resuscitated Pleo connector uh, battery. That's great, search. Wait.